Kuzuzam Bula. Namaste, good morning to all respected viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders, long live our friendship. Welcome to this online yoga session, Embassy of India, Thimpu Cultural Center. I'm yoga teacher here. Uh, so today I would like to recite important sloka from Indian culture. Called, uh, uh, this is especially for the people who have been suffering from the bad dreams or nightmares or some people have been suffering from the uh, like uh, uh, they are feeling like spirits are coming and uh, uh, spirits uh, like uh, uh, these people are talking to the spirits. Okay, this all is a preoccupied mentality. For that also to nullify that uh, mentality, we have very good sloka called Achutam Kesavam Vishnum Harim Somam Janardhanam Hamsam Narayanam Krishnam Japet Dusvapna Santaye. Dusvapna Santaye means. So this kind of sloka will be totally uh, uh, keep the mind peace. So again, in this uh, sleep regard, we have the easiest and very important preparation in the Ayurveda. So as we know that this is what we call coriander leaves. Coriander leaves, okay, available in every market. So try to take some coriander leaves and after that, uh, like measurement cup, with a measurement cup, like 100 ml, pour water. So try to boil it for at least 20 minutes. Then after that, this total water will turn as a green color. Then after that, take out that water and filter it properly. Take out that water. Again, see the measurement cup and before sleep, before sleep half an hour or before sleep one hour, try to drink this simple syrup, simple coriander uh, leaf syrup. Okay, or if you have uh, like uh, if you can grind this total leaves try to grind that leaves then after that mix some water then after that take out that essence so again that same measurement cup the essence will come down to the uh, measurement cup so uh, that uh, that that syrup will be still uh, more green greenish in color uh, and drink that uh, like uh, three hours before so uh, either this or that so try to use this simple preparation so please remember before or after this preparation do not eat or do not drink any other beverages or any other things. This, uh, this is very important technique to uh, like uh, uh, push you into the sleep. Second thing is <clears throat> in the night as we mentioned that when you go to sleep uh, preparation for the sleep also an important organ that first of all ring off your mobiles or don't use your mobiles or don't see the mobile lighting as well as do not see the remaining electrical bulbs or electrical lights also do not get distracted by the sounds of the door knocks or uh, remaining things and do not get disturbed with the sounds with the uh, like uh, books or anything once you will decide to uh, going to the sleep then your your mind should not distract towards any other things and now let's coming to the yoga workshop okay so today also uh, as in our uh, regular uh, yoga workout we are seeing our sun salutations very important easiest to practice for all uh, as well as after, after the sun salutations today uh, uh, we have good exercise with the chair also and now let's coming to our sun salutations take a long deep inhalations lift your both the arms up so today we, ha uh, we are not doing any variations we are doing plain uh, sun salutations keep your palms together put it at your chest so once deep inhalation and exhalation after that again inhalation open your both the arms lift your arms up then while keep a back bending cue so you can stay without arrest your breath and from there keep your body straight then very slowly with exhalation bend the body forward and Pada Hastasana standing forward bending after that stretch your right leg completely back and push your body forward lift your chin up horse riding posture Asva Sanchalanasana then after that keep your back leg straight on the toes, keep your legs, uh, knees straight, push your forward leg to the back leg and few seconds come to Dandasan or plank posture, open arm plank posture. Then after that bend your knees, keep your chest down, Ashta Anga Namaskarasan or Sasta Anga Namaskarasan, few seconds stay. Then after that lift your head up, as a lifted head cobra up poster push your body up lift your chin and stretch your neck and stay here for a while one two and three come back come to your mountain triangular poster and here right leg is your forward leg push your body forward and stay for a while one two and three come back back leg to the straight and push your back leg to the forward leg pada hastas and few seconds stay one two 
and three come back. Inhalation, lift your both the arms up and fuse against, maintain a back bend from there. Keep your palms together and fuse against a rest. Okay, long, deep and slow inhalation and exhalation, relaxation. Take again, long inhalation, exhalation. So let's come to our next exercise called chair exercises. So take two chairs, according to your body weight you can use one chair also but preferably two chairs. Okay, first rest your breath, again long slow inhalation and exhalation. So this, uh, uh, today also we have very easiest practices for the abdomen fitness. Then first slide your body back, then after that fold your right leg and open your left arm, catch your head. Then keep your above folded leg sides hand on the knee. Then after that, try to press inside and completely press inside and few seconds to stay here. One, two, three, four and five and relaxations. Enough, come back. Very simple and effective uh, practices for the abdomen fitness. Then slowly keep your leg out. One long deep inhalation. Opposite side, same thing, change your leg. Opposite side hand, like put your opposite side hand behind the head. Then very slowly with exhalation, completely press and stay here. One, two, three, four and five. Then again, very slowly come up, release and relaxation that slowly come back. Again, long and slow inhalation and exhalation. So this is, comes under Pavana Mukta Asana Sreni series, uh, like on the chair variations. Okay, keep, keep a long pause. So here, hands on the chair handle forward edges, come forward from the chair. Simple. Uh, practices for your shoulders so this is uh, like 45 degree angle posture so you keep your body uh, like slant from the chair now lift your body up towards your right side turn from there bend your elbows and fuse against incline the body towards the chair and stay especially this is for uh, chest and shoulders also your side abdomen one two and three then come back push up opposite side same thing turn the body and push your body towards the chair and stay for a while. One, two, three, then four relaxations. Enough, come back. Again, long and slow and deep inhalations and exhalations. Then coming to our next two variations, almost similar variation, but same thing here, leg ups. This is also for the abdomen and for the hands. Observe carefully too, according to your convenience, you can choose proper way or convenient way of doing hands on the chair handle. Uh, like uh, just walk forward then after that towards your right side turn and lift your left knee towards your right hand or right shoulder few seconds to stay here one two three four and five then come back then keep your body stable after that opposite side same thing lift your right knee towards your left elbow or left hand and stay now one two three four and five then relaxations enough come back Again, walk back, take a long, deep and slow inhalation and exhalation. Okay, fine, take a long pause. Now again, stand here. Then after that, towards your right side, turn the body. Put your right leg on the chair. So simple exercise, very simple leg stretching. So catch your head on the top with your two hands, interlock or without interlock. But towards your above folded leg side, completely give a bend and stay. Last week also we did this practice and today also we are doing like a bit because it is good for your abdomen fitness. Few seconds stay here. One, two, three, four and five relaxations. Enough. Wide your both the hands and rest your arms, release and relaxation. Then same thing opposite side, turn the body opposite side and put your left leg on the chair. Very simple and very effective practices. And catch your head on the top or put your hands on the head. So gently push your body and head towards your above folded leg side. So your uh, that below elbow should come uh, behind the knee and few seconds stay here. One, two, three, four and five. And again relaxations in a wide your both the arms and rest your arms, release, relaxation. Take a long slow inhalation and exhalation. So today's uh, our practices will be finishing uh, by doing uh, like a side pigeon posture uh, like a chair support. So very simple and effective practices but this will be some somewhat advanced practices uh, maybe some beginners 
may feel some difficulty while organizing the legs and chair but for them please uh, today please see and after that please make a trial remaining people who are already familiar with these practices you can make a trial now see uh, right leg towards the chair take again long deep inhalation and exhalation this time lift your leg turn your knee put your leg on the chair adjust your forward below leg then here hold your leg with your right arm especially that ankle neck or uh, uh, toes and now press your ankle towards the body and few seconds stay here then after that put your elbow at your toe and lift your left hand up towards your uh, uh, folded leg side bend and stay here one two three four five then six come back here same exercise again catch your toes then bend the body towards your head few seconds stay here one two three and four like session enough come back then very slowly release the uh, strain from the posture and relaxation just take a long deep slow inhalation and exhalation the same side pigeon posture opposite side turn the body and put your uh, left leg towards the chair then after that lift your leg turn your knee accordingly properly set your knee on the chair so below leg must be your balancing factor so that keep adjust your below leg then after that put your arm uh, like below leg side's hand on the knee to push your body up then after that catch your above leg ankle and few seconds press and stay here for a while one two and three come back still if you want adjust you can push your body towards the chair then after that catch your toes with your uh, left elbow and lift your alternate arm up and few seconds stay balancing and one two three and four relaxation same exercise here if you want create more bending or more squeezing with the same leg toes catch your toes and press and stay here one two three and four relaxations enough come back then very slowly organize to come out from the posture and release relaxation long and slow and deep inhalations and exhalations all right so with this exercise we are at the conclusion of the physical exercises part now coming to a pranayam session and try to sit comfortably on the chair okay first deep breathe in and deep breathe out so before pranayam it's always uh, like uh, good to drink a, sm a small sip of water okay now take a long deep inhalation and exhalation <clears throat> so here we are starting our chandra sodhana pranayam or just rec uh, rectifying or checking the left nostril whether it is free or not so close your right nostril with the right thumb so like open your inhalations completely breathe in from the left and from the same left nostril completely breathe out then second count completely breathe in from the left and completely breathe out breathe out breathe out again breathe in from the left and then very slowly completely breathe out from the left all right long and slow and deep inhalation and exhalation just for a while concentration on the breath regular inhalations regular exhalations one up and one down two up two down three up three down relaxation coming to chandra bhedana pranayam like shifting the nostril and shifting the breath open your right hand forward and turn them towards your face close your uh, index finger and middle finger inside then with the last two fingers with the thumb close your uh, right nostril with the thumb inhalation with the left nostril then after that exhalation breathe out from the right nostril again close your right nostril and begin lifting the air from the left and after that open your right nostril completely breathe out last count inhalation breathe in from the left then after that completely breathe out from the right take a long deep slow inhalation after finishing your one round 
called Chandra Sodhana. First single nostril up, single nostril down. Then after that, regular breathe in and breathe out. Then after that, left nostril in, right nostril out. So these three like will be a one good combination. At your uh, convenient time, depend on your time, you can make three or four or even five reps or you can give 15 minutes time also if you have one hour time to, uh, for your yoga practices. Okay, take a long pause. So with this, we are at the conclusion of this today's session. Uh, and please remember that uh, our sleep pattern will be helpful. Uh, like uh, if you if you have in intention to sleep in the afternoon, especially before meals, in the sense of uh, in the name of power nap or in the name of yoga nidra, that's very important to give regeneration to the body. Okay, then take uh, take a uh, long deep inhalation, exhalation. So tomorrow we have a very important and very good preparation with the ashwagandha. So yesterday, as you know that in papers also Delhi IIT. Uh, and uh, uh, Jap uh, one Japanese organization combinedly did one great research on Ashwagandha which will be helpful in uh, killing the COVID uh, virus. So tomorrow, uh, like uh, I, will, I will show some of the practi uh, practices which will be good for the sleep also with the Ashwagandha. Alright, until then take care of yourself. Tomorrow also we have a session at the same time 8.32, 8.45, uh, 8.50. So thanking for giving me this opportunity. Right. Thank you.